Hey, he's been around a long, long time. The curse of Dracula continues we yet with yet another ba movie based on the, the Bram Stoker, Stoker novel. Okay. Bram Stoker. Did that novel I stumbled through that one. You, <laughs> you got all excited about golf. Yeah. Uh, that novel came out in 1897. Wow. Did you see it back then? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Last Voyage of the Demeter is based on one of the chapters from that book. So let's take a little look out at the latest Dracula movie, and here's the deal. A merchant ship and its captain take on a cargo of strange boxes, uh, caskets, with the proposition of transporting them from Carpathia to London. Short story, first the livestock mysterious die from having their throats slashed open, and then one by one the crew ends up dead, disappearing. Every night an evil presence stalks and sucks the life out of a crew member. The director is Andre Overdahl. It seems, and he's Norwegian, by the way, it seems those on board should be able to figure this one out pretty quickly. You'd think they'd yeah, figure it out. absolutely. But alas, the blood-sucking goes on and on and on. And when the vessel arrives at the port, no trace of anyone, well, anyone living, there is. Something ripped apart the animals. All the livestock? This looks like a bite. Search the ship. Everywhere. Evil is on board. Powerful evil. Okay, rated R, of course, Ooh. for violence. So keep that in mind. This is not for kids. Uh, just a minute shy of two hours. There's, uh, the problem I had, there's really nothing new here. Uh, acting is fine, uh, but I was not thrilled with the Dracula makeup. I like my Draculas to be a little suave and smart and kind of sexy. I bet you do. Let <laughs> Let's, <wanna> rem <laughs> Let's remember Bella Lugosi. Uh, we have uh, Frank Langella, Gary Oldman, even Nicolas Cage was kind of funny. Uh, this Dracula will really make your blood boil. I bet you gave this a five star rating. I gave it two and a half bites or stars. Only two, two and a half. Well, the, the, the visually, it's 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 nice. They did a nice job. The uh, scenes with the boat, uh, you know, out in the ocean, very nice. But it just there's no, there's nothing new. There's nothing new. It's the same thing over and over. Well, kind of yeah. like our humor. Yeah. We just I've, over and over. I was just telling you, I've seen too many movies because yeah. I always compare it to something else, and I'm like, yeah, but it didn't do what this one did, you know, before it. So yeah. And they keep remaking these. Are, this is another one. They keep redoing Dracula over and over again. So kind of, if you've never seen a Dracula movie, this might, uh, in, you know, entertain you. But I'm. You didn't like it, then. I'm, I'm glad I saw it, but I won't be seeing it again. There. Okay, so just under two hours, huh? And we're going to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> you announce it over here, I think so. Stay with us.